Have you ever wondered why birds fly south for the winter? Every autumn, a spectacle takes place in the skies above North America as millions of birds take flight, heading south. The reasons for this seasonal exodus are intriguing and multifaceted. At its core, the migratory instinct is deeply ingrained in the genetic makeup of these birds. Scientists have observed captive birds exhibiting a behavior known as zugunruhi, or migratory restlessness, around the time of their natural migration. Even without the cues of natural light or changing temperatures, these captive birds become restless and orient themselves in the direction they would normally be traveling during that season. This points to the significant role genes and an inherent biological calendar play in bird migration. But once they take to the skies, how do these birds navigate their long journey? The prevalent theory suggests that Earth's magnetic field is a crucial guide. In recent years, scientists have found tiny particles of magnetite, a magnetic mineral in the brains of various animal species, including our feathered friends. This magnetite could potentially enable these creatures to use Earth's magnetic fields to chart their course. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. The next challenge for researchers is to understand how these animals gather, process, and utilize information from the magnetic field to navigate their way. In addition to Earth's magnetism, studies have also shown that migratory birds use celestial navigation. When placed in a planetarium, captive birds changed their directional orientation as the star pattern on the ceiling shifted. This suggests that birds use constellations as a compass to navigate the night sky. Now why do birds undertake this arduous migration in the first place, and why return north after reaching warmer climes? The answer is simple, food. A study from 2007 concluded that while birds might be genetically predisposed to migrate at certain times, they won't embark on the journey without certain physiological and environmental cues, the most crucial being food scarcity. Birds fly south in the winter in search of alternate food sources, and return north in the spring, when their usual food stocks are replenished. However, if food is still available, some birds may delay migration or not migrate at all, opting instead to band together in flocks to forage. In conclusion, bird migration is a fascinating blend of genetic predisposition, navigational prowess, and survival instinct. It's a testament to the remarkable adaptability and resilience of these creatures. So the next time you see a flock of birds heading south for the winter, remember, it's not just a journey, it's a testament to the incredible magic of nature.